Hello, in this video I will show you how to produce your mobile apps. Uh, so far we have worked with the build of builder fold folder and right now we will work with the mobile app folder. So inside there is one zip file, I will unzip it and the unzip it files I will open in Visual Studio Code. And you can open in any text editor or you can also drag and drop in the iTerm or some terminal and what we will see here is package.json file that will list all the dependencies that our uh, code needs. This is a React Native code wrapped with uh, Expo framework with the Expo framework and to get started uh, first we need to install all the, the modules all the node modules. To do that in uh, Visual Studio Code. We have integrate terminal and it's I should do npm install and this will start uh, downloading all the necessary uh, node modules. So here it will create a node modules folder. While the node modules are loading, downloading, we'll continue with the next step and that's uh, the expo setup. And Expo, it's, as I said before, it's a wrapper uh, framework for React Native and makes um, makes the production, the uh, creation of React Native apps really easy. Uh, on the tools side, the tools page of Expo.io, you will see a client Expo CLI Snack and SDK. With the client is this app that you can use to preview your work. Expo CLI is a tool that we need for uh, a tool that we will need for uh, running our app locally. And also, there is a good tutorial on get started, how to get started, download node. We already have that. And the next thing will be to install the uh, the CLI. So I will do that. I already have installed, but yeah, I will do it once again. npm install Expo CLI globally. And what this will do is will install the Expo CLI globally. Um, it will also will create an alias to this, so it's the same as running Expo. This should be really fast, and after that, I should be able to get Expo version, Expo like, version, and Expo. So it's the same like version. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we have Expo there. The next thing will be to initialize our project, which we are doing that right now. We have our project and we're installing all the modules that we need. And yeah, they are downloaded. I will clear the screen. I will copy this command. We need to go inside the project. So we are inside our project. We are in the same place where our package.json is. As you may notice, it has the node modules folder right now. And the next command that I need to do is just running expo start. So I will do that. Expo start and what this will do is we'll start the listener, we'll bundle the GS file, we'll create the GS file and start a metro builder on some port. So this opens a web page from where uh, locally from where I can run it on Android device emulator. Uh, for Android uh, device it needs to be connected with a cable and for the emulator it needs to be uh, pre-started. To run on the iOS simulator I should click here and it will start the, uh, the iPhone app. So it will start the app from what is here. But when the app will start we will see a screen, a welcome screen that says that our Firebase configuration is not correct or that it's connected to the development server of ours. Why do I see this? Because in config.js in the first line it's replaced with your connection string for Firebase. So what you can do is go there and replace it with your own Firebase but what our app builder does, it creates a setting for each of the each of the apps, so you don't have to do that. That's not a required step because it reads either from here 
or from the app configuration for map.json from here it could be also here okay so at the moment is empty so it uses our our test database I can say that like that okay so I have made my app this is the profile we have news categories read later and things like that so I will add new section let's say um, what do I need yeah let's say web view and it's done in section so I will add the web view as a second one and I can configure it, things like that, uh, but I don't need that right now. And so the idea will be to, to run this up. I already previewed it in the previous step and I will now need to produce it. So I need to click on the download button here, get the app.json file, config file, and uh, then after I get it, I need to place it to the correct position, move the download of that JSON file in a source code. Okay, sounds good. I will download it. Oh, it creates an extension. So it needs to be like this. I will remove the older one and the new one. And I will do it once again. Download. Okay. Shine folder. I will copy this. And I will place it in my um, in my source code. So as you may notice, as soon as I paste in my source code in my files, it should automatically restart the app to the correct one. Okay, paste item, replace, and this will start directly my app. So from now on, you are working on. Uh, the app itself and as you can see the web view is here and all the section that it has so uh, for a new app while you make it or if you have more apps uh, you just download the app json file you move it there and from there on you can uh, set the icon and produce app or publish on google play and app store and this is something that we will cover in the next video thanks for watching this step